Why does the current passing through the meter when the deflection is 52 degrees, given the torque exerted by the control spring and the varying inductance of the coil? 1. The torque exerted by the control spring is proportional to the deflection angle, so we can write the equation as T equal to K asterisk theta, where T is the torque, K is the spring constant, and theta is the deflection angle. Given that T equal to 0, 0.5 asterisk 10 minus 9 nm slash degree and theta equal to 52 degrees. We can solve for k to get k equal to t slash theta equal to 0. 0.5 asterisk 10 minus 9 nm slash degree slash 52 degrees equal to 9.615 asterisk 10 minus 12 nm. 2. The inductance of the coil varies with the deflection angle. We can use linear interpolation to estimate the inductance at 52 degrees. The given values are for 20, 40, 60 and 80 degrees, so 52 degrees is between 40 and 60 degrees. The inductance at 40 degrees is 702 mH and at 60 degrees is 752 mH. Using linear interpolation, the inductance at 52 degrees is L equal to 702 mH plus 52 minus 40 slash 60 minus 40 asterisk 752 minus 702 mH equal to 714.4 mH. 3. The current passing through the meter can be calculated using the formula I equal to SQRT T slash 2 asterisk pi asterisk F asterisk L, where I is the current, T is the torque, F is the frequency, and L is the inductance. Assuming a frequency of 50 it's the common frequency for AC power, we get I equal to SQRT 0, 0.5 asterisk 10 minus 9 nn slash 2 asterisk pi asterisk 50 he asterisk 714.4 asterisk 10 minus 3 h equal to 0. 0.63 so the current passing through the meter is approximately 0.63